Okay, back for another nine. Um, we're just going to look at uh, transferring the user manual onto a USB uh, flash drive. Uh, the user manual manual was where information question mark user manual loading. Oh, it's so slow. <laughs> Ah, oh, grief. Come on. Come on. Whew. You'll see here there is an option for a USB flash drive. I don't know whether to insert it first or press the button. Let's see what's uh, for the best. Save a copy of the insert, a, a USB memory stick, and then press the save button. So we're just going to pop that in there. And the save button is just the little old three and a quarter inch drive, uh, you know, disc <laughs> icon. There we go. Pretty quick to transfer uh, onto the flash drive. It says complete. I guess it's not going to do anything other than stay like that. So we use that uh, back button. And there we go, back to the instructions. Now, any specific instructions on removing the card? Mm, probably not. So I guess we are just going to have to uh, delete, and uh, just remove the card. We're now going to pop this into the laptop and uh, assume we'll have a PDF file generated. Sorry, this is a Sony with a horrible gloss screen. Uh, let's just see if we can transfer this file across. Pull a user manual as a folder. Uh, oh, okay. This has transferred all sorts of images as well, so I think we're going to have to transfer the whole folder. So we'll just cut and paste that onto the desktop so it's easy. Not used this for a while so that's uh, updated itself. We'll restart that later. That's 189 items that that's transferring. Sorry, you probably can't see that, but I'm just going to quickly have a look at this. Okay, so it's up here. Now it's a uh, it's an internet browser version, very much like uh, if you're in the service industry, very much like the new Panasonic service manuals. So this is yeah, this is all browser based. So it's all clickable. Uh, so it doesn't want to let me scroll around. Okay, let's open the click on the battery. There we go. Uh, scroll isn't working on this uh, for me wanted to look at charging new batteries but that isn't clickable for some reason can't believe that's the case I mean everything else is well, a lot of it's clickable and then you go into the sub menus and not all of them are hmm but look I don't suppose you can see that anyway but a lot of the menu items seem to be clickable uh, but uh, when you want to go to one particular bit, like getting started, charging the new batteries, you actually have to go to that section. Now, I don't know whether this is just because I'm using uh, Windows 10. Let's just swap and open that with uh, Internet Explorer if I can remember how to do that. Oops. Yeah, so we're going to open it with Internet Explorer instead of this new Windows 10. Program. I 
why we couldn't have had just a nice simple clickable PDF file, I don't know. Well, this isn't normally a slow laptop, uh, but uh, here we go. Right, can we scroll this time? No. So getting started, changing changing new batteries, still not clickable. Okay, yeah, not impressed. <laughs> Accessories is clickable. Introduction is getting started isn't yeah oh, yeah okay that's rubbish. Wonder if we can convert that to a PDF or whether there is a PDF uh, version available. Yeah, okay, not impressed uh, with that. We'll uh, try it on another computer that isn't Windows 10 and see if it performs uh, any better. So at the moment it looks like it's going to be the the online user manual. Why can't they print off a user manual? It's 1200 quid. Oh. <laughs> Once again we're running out of time with about two and a half minutes left. Um, you know, see that's you can see what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines of text at a time. So you're scrolling around like an idiot. Ah, uh -huh, hang on a second. No, oh, no, I think I thought that was getting smaller, but all it's doing is um, scrolling to the left and right. But how do I select getting started? Is that possible? No, all you're doing is going backwards and forwards through pages. You can't click on it, it's not touch sensitive screen obviously. So how do I go straight to 8.1 without going through well god knows how many pages. Oops, let's find out. Keep pressing the cursor keys when you've got to use the function keys. Okay, getting started. Before using the Apollo 600 for the first time, please ensure, ensure you fully charge the battery. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Well, I guess when they say use it, they don't mean turning it on and just looking at the instructions. I think they just mean actually using it as a pat tester. Again, there's no indication uh, apart from that menu uh, when it's there at the home page. Power on, power off. I've got to say, it's not the best screen either. I thought this was a high definition screen, but maybe I'm just looking at it at the wrong angle. Yeah, it's better when I lift it up uh, for me rather than the camera. It's a little bit clearer, but whether this is an, a, an HD screen or not, you don't know. Anyway, uh, time up again. Uh, we'll be back uh, uh, later.